today we have a very late unboxing for this collection. I guess it's still the current collection, but it's been launched a while ago. So this is from the 22K collection, so the runway fall winter collection from Chanel. And it is a bag. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy. And yeah, I do a lot of luxury related videos, luxury fashion, luxury handbag reviews, and I post every week. We'll talk about first impression and just um, what made me buy it in the end because I said I wouldn't buy this bag in the past. I did say that this is not for me. I have most Chanel bags that I already could ask for and this is one thing that I still haven't tried. It has the beautiful dust bag on top and inside we have the booklet with the microfiber cloth. I'm gonna let you guess what it is and what color I might have gotten because like I said I don't have anything in this color I wasn't even after this color to be honest but I really liked it when I saw it in person of course as you all know luxury houses have been having a hard time uh, with their delays their items coming in on time so they are trickling in quite slowly this bag did sort of creep into my wish list for some reason I don't know what it is maybe it's the fact that I do have most styles of Chanel bags already and I don't have this so I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try are you done guessing <laughs> um, like I said it's from the current collection and I will just slide it out of the tissue paper yeah so it is the cocoa handle this is the tiniest size of cocoa handle and this is the size that i said in the past that i would not buy that it is not for me that it is too small because it doesn't even fit a phone properly granted those are still things that are valid because unless you have a very small phone like me i have a very very tiny phone uh it is a little hard to fit your more regular size phone in this bag this is the mini 13 phone uh, obviously this phone is not going to be forever and i don't even know if this is a forever bag for me but when i did see this bag and i tried it on and even the color i was really really smitten by it so anyway let me know what you think of the mini extra mini cocoa handle uh, and if you own it i know it's still a very popular bag and by the way apparently there are some rumors and that is coming from my essay so from my own store that they are thinking of phasing out the cocoa handle in this size i'm not sure why so if your essay has told you that or if you've heard about this rumor as well let me know because um, i don't really know or understand why they would keep on saying things like this rumors of discontinuing bags first the gabrielle now this so let me know what you um have heard so here it is a close-up of it it's so so dang cute isn't it it's the extra mini size but it's still a really good size for an extra mini bag um, and the color is just really kind of blew my mind so what you see here on camera is I think it's pretty true to um, true to color like I'm just looking at my viewfinder comparing this in real life I pretty pretty sure this is very true to color um, Maybe this is even slightly, just a smidge darker in real life. Hence, I'm wearing my green color cashmere shirt from Hermes because I don't really have anything else that's green. When I first saw this collection online and when I first saw this bag, especially this color online, I thought it was more of a spring color. I would never think of it as a fall color but in reality and in real life it is a really neutral color and of course green has been all the rage this whole year all kinds of different shades of green and I will say this shade of green almost kind of bordering um, like a yellow or like an olive or um, what else can we call this um, sage green I don't know um just a very pretty very neutral type of earthy tones that is still very bright like it's not as 
dark as what I'm wearing. Uh, like what I'm wearing definitely is more screaming fall and winter, whereas this can still be a very summer bright bag. So um, I love that about it. It's, a, it's such a neutral in a good way. Let me give you another quick tour. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the bottom. The top here has the cute little handle and uh, this version does come with the shiny gold hardware which is my favorite. I actually really like the cocoa handle with shiny gold hardware and as you can see if you have pretty small arms which I do um, it does go all the way and the extra mini size has an extra long detachable strap which I thought it was a little long on me, but I don't mind it because you'll see and I'll try it on for you guys. It is actually the perfect bag for the winter time when I'm usually in a extra large cashmere coat. So as you can see, the drop of this is quite long and I would say that it is too long for just a shoulder bag, but as a crossbody bag, it is so cute and I think this size is the best crossbody size for the Coco handle. The Coco handle has since been updated to all leather lining, which is quite nice because I will say the price is very expensive. I was not expecting that. A lot of you have been wondering about my uh, 22 bag update, which I have spoken about, but sort of in a video where I am chit chatting. So a lot of you sort of still don't know because maybe you don't watch my other videos and or maybe you just don't watch the whole video. So what happened to my 22 bag? I will link up here. I did do a pretty comprehensive video as to uh, what had happened, uh, what I had observed. And so my store did take it back and they were investigating. In the end, they did offer me a credit. That was a Métier Dao 22A collection handbag and that's when I bought it. I bought it in early June. And since then, I haven't seen anything out in 22B that was um, of interest. Or maybe I have, but they just don't have the stock when I was interested. And then finally, this collection also launched. I technically haven't really seen anything that I really, really wanted. And if I did, they didn't, uh, we didn't order it in Vancouver. So I was not even going to be able to use my credit on anything this season until I saw this color and this size Coco handle in person. When I did end up dropping by my store impromptu, it wasn't a planned visit and I asked to see if there was any extra mini Coco handle. They actually ended up having this color and I was like, oh, okay, why not? And I was pleasantly surprised at how, like I said, how a beautiful this color was in person and how versatile it is because like I said this green doesn't look like much online but in person and even here on the video it is actually a very very neutral green but it's still a bright enough color that it can be an all year round color so I was pleasantly surprised and of course I had to take it home it was the only one and yeah, that's how I ended up getting this. Uh, so yes, the reason why I said I was really surprised at the price because I had no idea how much the extra cocoa handle was. It was literally, so I had the credit for the 22 bag and after applying the credit on this bag, I only had about $500 left, which is insane because that meant that this bag is almost as expensive as the 22 bag. So yeah, crazy. Okay, let's get into the inside of the bag. As you can see nowadays, uh, these bags don't come with the authenticity card anymore. It instead has a metal plate in the front, which has your, um, I don't know, RFID, whatever. I don't even know because we don't even get registration or anything like that in Canada. So I have no idea. It has this slip pocket in the middle. Again, it's all leather lined going forward and then this all other compartment in the back and a zip pocket in um, the very back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my new Samorga. Thank you to Samorga for part sponsoring this video. They are my go-to felt organizer or felt liner company. Why do I say that? Well, 
because they are the original and also because they literally buy the handbags, the original handbags themselves to create these custom size organizers to fit perfectly and they always are innovating and making improvements to them as well. That is why they are, for me, my go-to and my number one choice when it comes to choosing either a liner just to protect the inside, even though they're called organizers, but to me, I treat them as liners. And sometimes, yes, I do use them as organizers for larger bags or for bags that have no structure. I actually do use them as organizers. In any case, for this little bag, it's very, very tiny, I did opt for the thinner felt. So this is the 1.2 millimeter felt, and it comes in a set of two because it has the front and the back compartment. So for one of them, you will see that it has just one compartment and the label of the company, and it's really, really well made. And I chose it in this sort of lime green color. The other one has one slip pocket. They are 100% made in Korea of felt material. And in order to clean them, you can just spot clean or you can dry clean them if you want. Here you go, that's the front compartment there. The back one is a little harder to see, but it has that slip pocket, which is right there on top, which is even more convenient than using that zip pocket because the zip pocket is really really tight and I would not really use it unless I am trying to maybe hide a ring in there or um, you know to make sure it's secure but otherwise I will most likely just use um, that slip pocket and also mostly the front compartment. So I went ahead and filled my bag and I will just tell you up front guys that this bag is deceivingly small because you would think that it looks pretty good size from the outside but as we all know the cocoa handle is a bit more deceiving in terms of what it can fit i will just link to my cocoa handle small size review and what fits right here so that you can see the difference but the extra mini it's bulky from the outside but uh, the interior is very constricting and so uh, this is the maximum that i can fit guys I have my car keys sitting on top and I have one lip product sit sitting on top. The rest you can already see at a glance. So as you can see, I have my phone there, six key holder in front of the phone. And I have my wallet, my Chanel card holder wallet in the back. And that is it, guys. It is basically a very, very small size bag that still sort of fits your phone depending on the size phone you have, but it is a very narrow, um, these are very narrow compartments. That is also why I was sort of hesitated for a long time about this bag, or at least in the past I said that this is not a bag for me. But now I do see that it still can come in handy. It's for days where I still am downsizing and but I also don't want to be holding my phone because with my nano bags, I have to hold my phone. With this, I can still fit my phone in there and it will fit up to the pro size phone. So just not the max phone. I like the gold, uh, shiny gold hardware on this version. I really like the color. So it's really kind of like that dainty sort of... Um, slightly more practical than a nano bag still can fit certain phones and it's a it's a nicer size in my opinion as a more kind of like wedding event uh, elegant bag to take but like i said i'm not completely convinced that this is the best bang for your buck because it is extra mini and it's very constrictive i feel like the size up from this definitely fits a great amount and you know, they both have pros and cons, obviously. I wanted to show how versatile this color really is. Like I said, this color really doesn't scream fall winter to me. Uh, to me, it, it screams more spring, but somehow it still works with a fall winter outfit. And so I'm wearing my cashmere green colored earthy tone sweater from Hermes. And I'm also wearing these leather trousers from Amash. I featured them in a haul video in the past. If you've missed it, I will just link it down below because these are literally the perfect length um, 
sort of slightly, slightly, ever so slightly flared at the bottom, but so flattering if you have sort of that straighter body type as me. They're extremely comfortable. It's made in real lambskin and it's from Maj, and I take a size 36. And for jewelry, I have the usual Chanel earrings. So yeah, that's my outfit today. Um, and as you can see, even with this sort of very fall winter outfit, and even with these sort of more rock and roll leather pants, it still looks good together. And I love the fact that, you know, once the cold weather is gone, this bag um, is still fun enough and the, the color is still really neutral and bright enough for summer. And that is what I love about it. The crossbody is a little long on me still, but it I think it's still great just below my hip bone. So I think the, the drop is actually a more universal drop for more people. And in the case of me wearing my winter coats, because my winter coats are quite bulky and thick, um, it actually works out really, really well. You can still, uh, you know, do the crook of your arm if you have small enough arms. And for most people, it'll still at least go to the mid arm. Um, it's such a great, I don't know, I, I was just so surprised by this bag um, now that I actually tried it and also this with this color, this color is just so cute and so versatile as a neutral but as a lighter neutral that is still great for all year round. I am really, I'm really really shocked <laughs> at how great this color is is um and as you can see how versatile it is i'm literally wearing winter clothes and this bag goes with it and i'm sure as we move into summer wearing my summer dresses and everything this bag will still work really really well so again this is sort of that amazing very rare kind of color that chanel ever makes and that is what drew me to buying it. But now that I've downsized so much that I hardly even have any colors, they're mostly bag black bags, which is kind of weird. I have to start adding colors again. Um, so this is kind of a breath of fresh air in that sense. Let me know what you think of the extra mini Coco handle, especially if you own it. Um, do you use it often? I don't know. I don't know if I'll end up using this often, but I just love the color so much I couldn't resist. Don't forget to check out my links for some Morga, uh, especially if you're interested in the felt organizer. But even if you're not, you can still use my code AMY20 to save 20% on anything at checkout, a lot of you are still wondering, should I go with the thinner felt or should I go with the regular felt? In general, I would say just look at what your bag needs. If you want structure, go for the 2mm. If you just want protection, go with the 1.2 and that's how I usually go about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!